Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about an eager gang member who couldn't wait to start shooting. On December 26, 2006, at approximately 4 p.m., Arthur Gregorian drove his car with his son in it to his girlfriend, Annette Elvira's home, located on Merced Street in the Cypress Park area of Los Angeles. Gregorian wore a t-shirt that had human skulls printed on it. His car had tinted windows in the back, but not in the driver's window. He picked up Elvira and her son. Elvira sat in the front passenger seat and the two children sat in the back seat. Gregorian drove up Merced Street and then proceeded to Thorpe Street. While on Thorpe Street, a lone male, later identified as Alberto Casillas, walked down into the middle of the street, pointed a gun at the vehicle and shouted, Stop! The bullet grazed Gregorian on the arm, then struck Elvira in the femoral artery of her right leg, resulting in her death. Gregorian was interviewed by investigators. Gregorian described the shooter as Hispanic, approximately 5 feet 7 inches tall, and weighing 140 pounds. Gregorian noted that often when he went to pick up Elvira at her house, gang members in the neighborhood would throw gang signs at him in front of Elvira's home. He indicated he was not a gang member. Gregorian reviewed a mug book which contained approximately 174 photographs. He identified three photographs as looking like the shooter. They were photos of Alberto Casillas, all taken in two on six. Gregorian identified Alberto at the preliminary hearing and was almost sure, 100%, that Alberto was the shooter. The day following the shooting, police were conducting surveillance in front of Alberto's home. Alberto exited his residence. When officers identified themselves as law enforcement, Alberto ran. While running, Alberto tossed a gun to the ground. Alberto was apprehended and the weapon was retrieved. The gun discarded by Alberto was a 9mm semi-automatic Smith & Wesson. The handgun was test fired. It was determined that a shell casing recovered at the crime scene was fired from the same gun that Alberto had in his possession. At trial, Gregorian identified Alberto. Gregorian identified the gun as looking similar to the one Alberto used on the day of the shooting. The bullet recovered from Elvira's body was too badly damaged for a comparison to be made. LAPD gang unit officers testified they were familiar with Alberto Casillas. They interacted with Alberto in the past. They testified Alberto's moniker was Dopey and that he admitted membership in the Cypress Park Gang. The Cypress Park Gang's main rival was the Avenues Gang. The Avenues is a larger gang with, at the time of the incident, 500 to 750 members and its territory borders Cypress Park's claimed territory. A typical Avenues gang emblem would be a human skull with a fedora, sometimes depicting a bullet wound to the head. In a photograph taken from Alberto's residence, he was holding a gun and making a hand sign indicating kill Avenues. Because Alberto interpreted Arthur Gregorian's shirt that had skulls on it as gang attire, he opened fire on Arthur and his car that was occupied with Annette and her son after Arthur Gregorian would not stop so Alberto can bang on him. In the end, Cypress Park gang member Alberto Casillas was convicted of the first degree murder of Annette Elvira, the attempted murder of Arthur Gregorian, along with gang and gun enhancements. Alberto Casillas was sentenced to state prison for the term of 90 years to life.